Hello everybody, welcome back to the Bengals series here in Madden 2001. We are in year five and already things are off to a horrendous start. We are 0-2 to start the season, both losing uh, our first two games by one possession. We lose by a touchdown to the Patriots and lose by a field goal to the Browns. We're off to a 2-0 start, oddly enough. They were pretty horrendous last year. I think they only won four games. Uh, but uh, we are moving into week three now to play the Baltimore Ravens. Continue with division play. Our next like five games are all division games, so uh, it's gonna, we're going to have to pick and choose which ones we want to watch and which ones we don't want to watch. So. We are getting into our second home game of the season against those dreaded Ravens, a team that we've always played pretty close uh, in these. I mean, we play all division teams pretty close, but these games always just seem to be, I don't know, a little bit on edge, nail biters in there. There you go. There's another spoiler for you. Steve Weaver, just put a pin in that for later. Just, I just know I'm doing this video with a lot of egg on my face, a lot of egg, uh, swallowing a ton of pride. Uh, but uh, we'll, we'll get into that later. <laughs> At the end of the video, we'll get into that later. So we're stacking up to be a better team than the Ravens. The Ravens haven't really gotten a whole lot better, but they're still a team that always gives us fits. But on a third and five now at midfield late in the first quarter, they managed to pick it up with a throw to... I'm not sure which receiver that was. It looks like Quadra Ismail from a distance, uh, and I think it is. I believe it is. Who throws off? Geez, throws off his defender and gets out of bounds. Just does all that just to get out of bounds and get like maybe one more yard. So, on first and ten now, with just about ten seconds left to go in the first quarter, the Ravens are still cooking up here. Pressure is on Tony Banks, but he gets rid of this one quick, and somehow that one is hauled in with one arm and with a, just a crane arm. It just falls right into the basket and it is hauled in on a one arm grab. Those happen way too much in this game. I'm sure kids in two. And we're really arguing about that when this game came out. But after one frame of play, neither team on offense can really get into the end zone. But the Ravens are threatening to do so as it is first and goal from our six yard line. And on a handoff to Priest Holmes, he runs right up the middle and gets into the end zone with Ross in pursuit. And he cannot close the gap and get to him, man. I think KO Spice is even in there too and couldn't make a tackle. So uh, our first attempt on offense, you're finally seeing here from deep, <laughs> close to our own goal line. Achilles Smith takes forever and uncorks a deep bomb to the defense. To the defense, and not just the defense, but that is Arizona Cardinals series regular Dwayne Starks at cornerback making a huge interception for the Ravens offense or defense and getting their offense back on the field. So we have forced a third down though for the Ravens, and they pick it up with a pass to the fullback in the flat. So the Ravens offense is going to continue to roll in our territory off of the Achilles Smith interception. So on second and nine, just over two minutes left to play, and the pressure is on, and Takeo Spikes gets all the way through and gets to Tony Banks and makes him eat some grass. Man, I don't know what happened. That play completely fell apart for the Ravens, and we got all the way in there. So on third and 14, coming out of the two-minute warning, Banks now stands firm in the pocket and uncorks one to his receiver who was not paying attention, I guess. I don't know. Didn't have his arms up. <laughs> he wasn't ready for the football, I guess. So on fourth and 14, they're going to bring out the kicking unit, and it's going to be a bit of a longer one. It's just going to scrape by the crossbar and get through and give the Ravens a three-point lead now late in the half. Neither offense can really do much of anything. So, second and 10 now with under a minute left to go. We are running a minute drill here, and Achilles Smith finds Tony Horn, who has nobody behind him. His defender tried to, I guess, cut the route maybe. He thought he had it in his hands. It sailed right through. Achilles Smith got it through the window, and Tony Horn is gone to the house for the first Bengals touchdown that we are watching of the season. And just look at this, man. Arms up. Woof. Right on through. I think it was Dwayne Starks who tried to go for another pick off of a, a Tony Horn route, and there was nobody back there, man. He got behind the defense, and uh, really getting a pick was the only way you were going to stop that play from happening because once Tony Horn got the ball, it was off to the races. So 7-3 to three is your score. The Ravens with 30 seconds left to work here in the first half. So on first and 10, Tony Banks is going to uncork one, and he finds an open man who hauls it in. I think it's Quadra Ismail again who hauls that one in, man. He's giving us fits across every series you can imagine, man. <laughs> Both of our NFL series, he's giving us fits. So the Ravens will call timeout here with 20 seconds left to work. Trying to get some points before half. Tony Banks uncorks another one right in the middle of the field. And I believe that was Shannon Sharp who we found. It is. It's Shannon Sharp who hauls that one in for a first down. And now the clock is still continuing to run. They're going to have to get up to the line mirror and maybe spike it. And they do spike it. So they, you, you can expect the kicking team to come back out. Stover is going to try and even this game a little bit more. And he does just that. So, um, 
I forgot about Baltimore's touchdown, so I think that makes it 13-7 to now. And it does. So the first half comes to a close. The Ravens lead us now 13-7. to Just a six-point ball game. So if we can just get into the end zone again, uh, then things will be looking our way. And we're going to hand off to Makovica now, who's uh, not his first game starting, but first season as a starter at fullback for us. And he gets us the first down, but we get, don't do much with the next couple downs. It's third and nine. And Achilles Smith with another pump fake. He loves to do those. And he flips it off to uh, Weaver, uh, our backup running back out of the flat who uh, can't really do much with that opportunity so we're going to be looking at bringing out John Green for a long field goal and he nails it all the way through so 10 to 13 is now your score and we are within reaching distance of the Ravens as we're going to go with Priest Holmes who coughs up the football on a redirect he looked dead to rights there, cobbled up in some blocks, but he redirects it, and he coughs the football up. We also had a fumble in this game. That's why you see two turnovers instead of just uh, the Achilles Smith uh, interception. But the third quarter comes to a close, and here we are within just one possession of the Ravens again. We've been in this position, I feel like, a million times in this series. So second and seven, right out of the intermission at the top of the fourth quarter. Achilles Smith has all day to throw, and he finds Sharper, our tight end, not Shannon Sharp, but just Sharper. I think Jamie Sharper is his name, his full name. Uh, but he makes the catch here in some congestion and in, in a lot of traffic. He somehow it manages to haul that one in, has the composure to haul that one in. And he makes the catch after Kill Smith takes his entire lifetime <laughs> to find him and get the ball out to him. But he makes the catch. So we will continue moving here inside the red zone. Smith with some pressure off of the edge. Uncorked it to Peter Warwick, who somehow does not get into the end zone, man. About an inch away from, from crossing the goal line, from breaking the plane. And uh, he hits the ground. So on first and goal, we're going to stick through the air. And a very dangerous pass to a backup tight end. I don't know what formation we were running that had the backup tight end in, but he makes a catch so I don't even know his name it's like Kenny or something Aaron Kenny or something like that uh, but he makes the catch and uh, that that's going to give us the lead so 17 to 13 is now your score the Ravens are going to be desperate to get into the end zone and Tony Banks on Corks went downfield and he already makes up most of what the Ravens are going to need uh, to, to, to get into the end zone as uh, he finds an open man in Bengal territory who hauls that one in man just uncorks it Jeez, that's what happens when you give the quarterback an, an all day <laughs> to make a decision, man. Zero pass rush to speak of. You saw that, man. Uh, we had Ilko and some of our other D linemen, man, just caught up in blocks. Could not get any separation. So coming out of the two-minute warning, it is second and nine from the Cincinnati 40-yard line. And Banks with some pressure off the edge, manages to get it to Shannon Sharp across the middle of the field. And that one is going to be another first down for the Ravens. So they're getting closer and closer to the red zone. It's from about our 24-yard line now, first and 10 for the Ravens. No spike. Tony Banks is just going to keep it through the air, try and move this one quick, keep us off our toes. And he finds Quadre Ismail, who cannot haul it in. In. So, nice nice defensive effort. We finally get the ball out of Ismail's hands. It looks like he had it pretty uh, pretty firmly, but he does not. So, running a hurry up now after a failed play on third and ten. It's going to be a pass to the flat, to the fullback. To Chaos Spice is there for the tackle before he can get to the sticks. So, on fourth and two, the Ravens not only need to get into the end zone, but they need to get a first down just to keep their drive alive. They're still going to run the hurry up here with just over a minute left to play. Tony Banks is moving now, and he's going to eat some grass. He is going to eat some grass. The, the pass rush that's been non-existent all game finally gets home and causes a sack. So that's going to be a turnover on downs. We're going to take this one over. But the Ravens still had all of their timeouts because they were running hurry up. So on third and eight, we're going to hand it to Makovica here, try and get to the first down and maybe ice this game. And we can't get anywhere close as we only get about a handful of what we needed uh, from first and ten down to fourth and five. So... We're going to have to give the Ravens the ball back with a full minute of play left to go. And they have pretty great field position. Pressure to Tony Banks again, but this time Ismail does have this one caught. And uh, Kelly Smith already getting player of the game honors, but the game is not over, best believe. 176 yards for Quadre Ismail. That is more than deserved. So with just 30 seconds left to go, Tony Banks is going to spike it here from about our 45-yard line, 42, 43-yard line. So second and 10 now. Banks is going to drop back. He's got a cleaner pocket now. Uncorks this one again to that right side of the field, which he's been attacking all day long because that man right there has been over there all day long, and he has been pretty pretty amazing as far as catching the ball goes. But the time is still running now, and the Ravens have burned 
burn all their timeouts trying to stop us. So, with a spike to clock it at 14 seconds, the Ravens have to go still about 25 or so yards to get into the end zone. They have maybe one or two plays left to do it. And so Tony Banks uncorks one again, and he finds Taylor, who hauls it in and is brought down at about the five-yard line. So the Ravens are now within striking distance. But once we get out of this replay, the clock is just going to continue to run and continue to move as the Ravens have to try and get up to the line and clock it. Now five, four, three, two, one, and they cannot do it as the ref struggles to get the ball down at the line of scrimmage and that is going to end the ball game we're going to remain victorious uh hold on to our lead here and beat the ravens so it's really nice to see us actually hold on to one of these close games uh in the final frame of play in the final minute of play normally we're the ones who uh, are watching this lead slip away but looking at the numbers the ravens absolutely outplayed us man i don't know how we managed to get on top of that but these are the kind of games that you have to win where you're not playing your best or don't have all your guys all your decks all your chips uh on the table you need to find a way to come up big in those games. So Achilles Smith had himself a pretty decent game. I'm pretty impressed with that. Really solid game here. And Steve Weaver, and there you see in the rushing uh, breakdown. Hmm, there's a name that's missing. We'll get to it. <laughs> receiving breakdown, Peter Wark doesn't do much of anything. Hmm, looking at the receiving breakdown, there's a name that you don't see. Hmm, we'll get to it. <laughs> In defense of land, Rondé Barber, who was all over uh, Quadre Ismail, uh, leads the team in tackles because he just had to tackle Quadre Ismail all game. So, <laughs> But here you go. Here's how we're going to end the video. Taking a look at the injury reserve, and there you see Corey Dillon is out for a large chunk of the season with a dislocated ankle. And a familiar face, Chris Waller, is also on the injured list. So in the next video, we will uh, get further into the season. Yeah, just, yeah.